Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Chelsea, and today I have a new series, I guess, that I'm going to try to start on my channel. It's not new at all to the beauty community, but it is new to me, and it is Shop My Stash. So, I figured in the new year, I would like to start doing more series, weekly series, and I was trying to think of what I could incorporate, and Shop My Stash came to my head, and I was like, you know what, I've never done that. And I think it would be a really good way for me to try to use up the products that I have and be able to share with you all. Yes, I use this product for a week consecutively. These are my thoughts and stuff like that. So what I do plan on doing is every Sunday, pick out a new set of products to use for the upcoming week. And then I'll only be using those products Monday through Friday. So yeah, but before we get into this video, I just wanna say thank you so much for taking time out of your day and clicking on my video. If this is your first time here, stick around come on and subscribe. I think you'd like it here. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for sticking with me, hanging here with me, and continuously supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot to me. So let's just get into this video. So let's just put out a few disclaimers. Number one, I've never done this before. First disclaimer is I'm gonna do my best and only use the products that I choose for the week. I'm gonna try. But I like options. So I might reach for something else, and if I do, I will let y'all know. Number two, <laughs> I'm going to try to only select three products, but I like options once again, and it kind of gives me a little bit of anxiety to think that I would only be using one or just two products from each category. That like makes me very uncomfortable. So we're gonna try to just stick to three products per category. Number three, I have a really strong feeling I'm not really gonna be choosing like lip products. I just, I typically just a lot of times wear glosses or actually have like a few different lip products already in my purse. So I don't really know if I'm gonna do lip products. I might, I'll see how I feel once I really get into choosing products, but that's my third disclaimer. I think those are all my disclaimers. So yeah, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you my makeup products. And then I think we'll just choose from there and then we'll be it. Um, let me, I'm thinking I kinda wanna do an update on the products as well. So I'm filming this on a Sunday, so I feel like each Sunday, I kinda wanna do a recap on like how I like the products, what I reach for the most. Tell me if this is something that you'd like to see, like kind of a, like a recap of, I used all these products for a week and now I, I need to change them out. These are my thoughts. Let me know if, if you wanna see something like that. Cause I kinda feel like I wanna do that just so you all know like, yeah, she really loved it. She thought she liked it, she didn't like it. Um, but yeah, let me know if you're interested in that. Cause if you're not, then I won't, you know, I won't do it. But if you are, then yeah, I will definitely do that. Okay, enough rambling. Let's get into choosing the product. Okay, so here are my foundations and I already know two foundations I'm going to be using this week. I just purchased this NARS, this mini NARS radiant long wear foundation i have mine in, in the shade caddis so i actually have only gotten a sample of this at sephora but i've never actually worn it when i saw the mini size i was like first of all it's so cute secondly i had to try it and i heard that this foundation along with the nars sheer glow are a match made in heaven. Um, I think it was Jackie Yina who said, if you have these two, mix them together and they will be amazing. So I am definitely going to be wearing both of these foundations this week. And then I'm doing a review of this new Milani foundation. So I was in Ulta today and I was like, wait, who are you? Um, this is the Milani Sh Screen Queen natural radiant foundation so this is actually supposed to be a foundation that helps to protect you against digital blue light um it's a digital blue light filter i have mine in the shade 420 so i will be uploading a review on this foundation tuesday so stay tuned for this okay so if you don't know foundations are my thing like i am a foundation junkie i just love them so i don't see myself i'm, I'm gonna have a plethora of foundations i'm just gonna say that so I recently did a review on this Range Beauty True Intentions Hydrating Foundation. I have mine in the shade Rio. I cannot put this down. This foundation is so stinking good. It is literally like the perfect, I just want something on my face, but I don't wanna do a full face of makeup. I just want radiant skin. That is this. 
this is that and since the review i have fallen in love with this even more y'all check out this brand i definitely want to continue to play with this more because i i keep reaching for it i actually have it on today and i love it okay i think i need one more foundation <laughs> but i want to pick one i haven't worn in a while so I haven't worn this one in a while. So let's go with my Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. I have mine in the shade 9 Dark, and this is another one that's really great for more uh, light, light to medium coverage max. Let's pull her out because I haven't worn her in a while. So those are the five foundations that I'm going to try to stick with today. Okay, so this is where I keep my concealers my powders and my primers. Please don't judge me. I do need to organize this space and I will once I figure out how I wanna organize it. So, starting with concealer, the first concealer I'm gonna try this week is the new NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. I have mine in the shade Neutral Buff, which is 10.3. Ironically, I've never tried the Born to Glow foundation and I kinda of feel like I need to pick it up because if I like the concealer, maybe I like the foundation. But yes, I am gonna do a review on this as well. So this will be uploaded this week. Uh, stay tuned for that. So I will be using this concealer. I think I wanna go with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. Here we go. This is in the shade 910. So I really like this concealer when I'm wearing more light makeup. So since I'm using a couple of foundations that are lighter, I'll go with this one. And then, I need another one just in case the, the um, NYX one doesn't work out. Let's go with, here we go. Let's go with my mini, you know what? There we go, mini NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. We got two NARS foundations, so we'll go with NARS concealers. I wear mine in the shade Caramel. This is like an OG concealer that I, this was the first concealer I really fell in love with years ago. So yeah, we'll go with that. So I got three concealers. I think that's good. For powder, now, I'm gonna be real honest and biased. I, I mean, I can't, I just cannot not use it. So Wet n' Wild Photo Focus and Banana, she's a given. Like I said, maybe I'll fall in love with another one, but I don't know. But I do wanna add another powder because I need to use my other ones. Okay, so the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, this is a really good powder. Sorry, I had to wipe off some powder. This one I really like to use to set my face, um, not my under eye, but the rest of my face. And it's it really does give a nice smooth finish. I'm trying not to blind y'all with the ring light. <laughs> um, but this is a really good powder to kind of just like set the rest of your face. It gives you a really nice smooth look and I love it. I wear mine in the shade tan, 35 tan. Now I don't need three powders, but I have really been enjoying this Jaclyn Cosmetics um, Mute Light Powder. I have mine in the shade Brilliant, and I really have been enjoying it. So I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna add this to the pile because I have been enjoying it. Okay, primer. I already know I wanna use my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I love this primer. It was in my yearly favorites, uh, favorites of 2019. This Range Beauty Bronzing Primer. Okay, like I said before about the foundation, this is also, beautiful. I have not touched my Milani Soft Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer since I got this. And if you know me, you know that's huge. You know it's huge. So I'm going to get this one. And although this is not a primer, it's a um, Glow Complexion Enhancer, I do want to use it because I've missed her. Y'all know I used her faithfully and I do miss her. So I want to add her to rotation. And that's it. All right. So next to eyeshadow palettes so based on how i have everything arranged i have my high-end eyeshadow palettes here and then my affordable and drugstore eyeshadow palettes here so you kind of see the rest of my makeup here so i'll just leave the camera here and then we'll work through the rest of the stuff okay so on to the heart stuff eyeshadow palettes what do i want to use this week okay i do know i do want to use both of these so i do have the Huda Beauty Nude Medium Palette and the Nude Rich Palette. So I didn't do a review on these. If you guys want me to do a review on them, let me know and I will. I kind of don't know if 
anybody's interested but here's the nude medium and i have used it a couple times and i really have been enjoying it and then here is the nude rich palette here so i do want to continue to use both of them and then oh this was oh my gosh y'all this ColourPop flutter by palette is so pretty I've only used it once and I really enjoyed using it. So I wanna use it again. The Fenty Beauty Snap Shadow, so I have two of them. Here we go. And I did do a review on these, so I'll go ahead and link that for you if you wanna watch it. But I really enjoyed this Warm Neutrals palette, so I want to use that. I am gonna add my Pat McGrath R Ritualistic Rose palette because I have not worn this nearly as much as I've wanted to. So I think that might give me like my pop of color that I want or my pop of shimmer. Let's hone in on face palettes, blushes, bronzers, and finishing sprays. So first, I know I want to play more with my Jaclyn Hill accent light palette. Now, I did a review on this palette and I did a review on the flare palette, but I liked it, but I didn't like that I couldn't wear every shade in the palette. So one of my friends um, actually was like, hey, I actually got the flash palette and I can wear every highlight. And she and I are similar complexion. So I got this one and I really do like this one better because I can wear every shade. Even the shade right here, Gleam, even though it is a bit icy, I can mix it with one of these shades and warm it up a bit and it works. So. I really have been liking this one a lot, so I do wanna play with this more. I love this Too Faced Sugar Peach Wet and Dry Face and Eye Palette. So this is so pretty. I like to wear this as blush and highlight. So these two shades here, I use mostly as blushes, and then these two I'll use for highlights. So I do wanna add this one because I think it's amazing and it smells really good. So that's it for highlights. I think I'm good with that. Setting sprays, I want this L'Oreal one, this is one of my favorite setting sprays ever. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist. It is so pretty. I love this actually to set my face um, because I do think it actually holds my face pretty well and then it does mesh my powders together. So I like this, so that's for sure. Then I haven't reached for this Farsali 24K Rose Gold Mist Skin Mist in a while, so and I was using it religiously at one point. So I wanna use more of this one. Let's go with Lila B. Lila B, a glow face mist. I love this one as well to set my face. I'll use it sometimes if I need to blend out my foundations, but I really like this one to set my face. So there we go. I think I'm good with that. Bronzer, let's go with the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. Um, the Omega Bronzer. So this is in the shade 104 Tantastic. And I really haven't used this bronzer for as long as I've had it. So I'm gonna use this one. I know it looks light, but it actually does show up on me. It shows up more as like a neutral contour shade. Let's do this bronzer this week. The Gingerbread, the Too Faced Gingerbread Bronzer and Spicy Bronzer. This one is a really pretty um just a really pretty color i like it so let's go with that and i think we should be good with those bronzers now blush that's gonna be a hard one my morphe 8w blush palette it's the eight more blush palette i got this one i got this palette december of 18 and this is a really good blush palette all of these shades work very well on my skin tone they are pigmented, but they are not overly pigmented. But I really do like this. This is a really, really good blush palette. So I'm gonna use this. And then these are my actual lip products. I don't even know if I want to address this situation. I'm not, That that is not what I'm doing. Lip products, eyeliners, mascara. I think we're just gonna, I'll just quickly go through it. For brows, I've been lately using my Anastasia Brow Definer. I have it in the shade Soft Brown. Um, I kind of wanted to use this up and I really do enjoy this Brow Definer as well. This is pretty much the only eye primer that I use, so I'll still be using that. 
right now for mascara, I'm using the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara, this um, deluxe sample. So I'll still be using that. Still using my Essence uh, Lash Primer. Love that. For eyeliner, I'm still rocking real hard with these two Milani Stay Put uh, Waterproof Eyeliners in the brown and black shade. Um, and that's that. For lip products, this is the shade Blow Up, so I'm gonna put this one in my purse. This is a really pretty um, light pigmented bulb. I really do love these Pat McGrath um, Lux Trance lipsticks. So this is the one in Sextrology. So I'll add that to the list because I really do like the shade. It's, uh, it's just a really pretty pinky nude and I've been enjoying that. So I'm gonna, I will use that. And yeah, I think that's it for- Okay me. guys, so let's just do a quick recap of the items or the products I'm gonna be using this week for makeup. So for foundations, we have five of them. Then I have one, two, three concealers. I have three powders for the week. Um, two primers and a, an illuminator so my soft focus and then these two primers um two highlighting palettes these two here one blush palette two bronzers five eyeshadow palette and then we have three setting sprays hydrating spray mist and then like i said for lip products i wanted to pop these two in my purse and then whatever the other ones are in my purse i'll just leave them in there and use them for the week okay so let me just say number one i'm actually really excited about this and number two i'm going to do my best to stick to only using these products for this upcoming week so monday through sunday i will use these products and then i will switch them out and pick a whole set of new products and hopefully this will be a good way for me to actually just start using makeup that i already have and kind of getting through some of this makeup and not just letting it sit there. Now, I will put a disclaimer out and say that if I do get makeup this week, I will, or it's okay to add it to the products that I am using this week, but I'm gonna try my best to not reach and use other products that are not inclusive in this stash right here. So I'm really excited about this. Let me know your thoughts on this concept. Let me know if you are excited to see you know my products each week and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i really hope to see you in my very next video bye guys